Hi, Nick here, and today I'm going to talk about fingernails on both your right and left hands. So as you can see here, the fingernails on my left hand, which I use to fret notes on the guitar, are very short. And this is because when your fingernails get a little bit longer, they can interfere with fretting notes because your nail will be competing to press against the fingerboard along with the fleshy part of your finger, which is really what you want to use to hold down notes. You really want to use that fingertip right there uh, most of the time, of course, you know, if you're not barring or something. Uh, so as you can see here, I've cut my nails not so short. I mean, you still want this little white uh, edge on the top of the nail, uh, but you don't want to cut it below the nail folds on the side of your finger where the skin folds over the nail. You don't want it to cut it so short to where you have problems with the way your nail grows, but um, these are recently clipped, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of flesh there. Okay, so on the right hand that I'm using to, you know, finger pick with, um, of course, I've got my little smiley face that I've drawn there, uh, but the nails are a little bit longer, and some people because they have weak nails or they like the way it sounds or they play really hard with their fingers, will use fake or acrylic nails. And this is fine. In fact, probably most of the great uh, finger style players out there use acrylic or fake nails, but um, it's a lot of extra work. And I'm here to present an alternative. If you don't want to do that, I think you should try just your regular fingernails first to see how that works for you because it can save you a lot of time and money um, that you'd have to otherwise spend on fake nails if you can just use your real ones. Okay, so lengthwise, I've got my fingernail here that sticks out um, somewhere between an eighth and three sixteenths of an inch or between three and four millimeters over the top of the finger. Uh, so when I play personally, I usually get the fleshy part of my finger to hit the string sort of in combination with the nail. And I like the way that sounds. Um, these are a little bit on the long side of how long my nails get. And when I clip them, usually it'll be just over the finger, as short as maybe a sixteenth of an inch or one and a half to two millimeters out in front of, you know, the fleshy part of the finger. So you don't need a whole lot of fingernail on your fingers. Um, I used to use a nail file to shape my nails, and there are different guides. If you're doing classical and stuff, sometimes people will recommend that you have kind of a pointy looking nail. Um, but, you know, I, I found really that I didn't need to spend all that time filing my fingernails. I basically just use a fingernail clipper, and I try to get a shape that's somewhat like this. It's basically not super pointy and not flat, but slightly rounded, okay? And I found that this works well, and it's practical and easy to do. Now, the only thing you have to watch out for uh, with this is like, here I have my index finger, and you can see, hopefully, that there's kind of a little groove that's been worn in. You see how this side's curved, this side has almost a little groove worn in it from where I've been picking because at least for me usually this kind of left side of the nail ends up getting the strings so you want to make sure when you clip it that you kind of round it off and that you sort of round off that sharp edge there because you don't want that to snag the string you want it to be smooth so that you can pick easily without getting the nail caught so kind of slightly rounded on the top and then you want to make sure Sometimes I'll add, take an extra clip here and add an angle, uh, being careful not to go below the nail fold, but just to kind of take that edge off there so that it's, you know, not going to catch on the string because your nail kind of curves down too, so you don't want that part to be catching on the string. So anyway, um, that is how I keep my fingernails. I'm actually getting ready to clip them here. so. What I might do is clip them and then show you what it looks like uh, when they're freshly clipped. And then uh, you can see the difference in length. Okay, so I've just used a regular nail clipper. Use a smaller one because it's easier to kind of get a good rounded edge. Um, 
And as you can see here, my nails are just sort of barely above the fleshy part of the finger. I'm trying to get a good focus. It's maybe like a, a sixteenth of an inch or maybe two millimeters above the top of the finger. So it's just long enough. Now this may not work for everyone. Again, um, I like to use some of the fleshy part of my finger as well. And that's kind of, I like that sound. Um, but I also find that it's practical to kind of keep your nails between this length and the one I started out with uh, at the beginning of the video, just in everyday life, um, especially you know if you're using your natural nails, I think if they get really long, they're more likely to break or chip. So I don't really keep them super long. And I don't think you have to, um, especially if you're just starting out, you might want to try sort of shorter fingernails like this that are just long enough to uh, get the string and then they'll grow out over a couple weeks. You can clip them again. And I think that's kind of a good way to go. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video on fingernails for guitar players. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Again, I keep the nail rounded, it's not pointy. And you wanna make sure that you kinda of have a a little bit of a smooth edge there on the side of the nail. So you don't want to have too sharp of an angle. You don't want it to go below the nail fold, but you do want to kind of get this little edge there so that it doesn't snag on the string. But anyway, um, you know, I've got my thumbnail long as well here, even though I use a thumb pick um, most of the time. Sometimes I will play with my thumb, even though it's kind of with the side or sort of this part of the thumb through here, more so than with the nail, like maybe some classical players might play that way. So I really don't need all of this. I'm really just kind of using this part of the nail on the thumb when I do play with it, and a lot of the fleshy part as well. I like the kind of muted tone that gives because you're usually hitting bass notes with your thumb Um, in terms of individual fingers, sometimes with my pinky, I'll just cut this nail pretty much like the pinky on my uh, fretting hand because when I play, I will rest my pinky sometimes against the body of the guitar, kind of on the pick guard. And when I'm recording and I'm kind of playing and moving my hand, sometimes that nail will scratch the pick guard and make a little noise. Um, so sometimes I'll cut it short, but right now it's long because I do use my pinky to pick uh, sometimes, but for the most part, and you'll find this is true for most finger style players, you're going to be using your ring, middle, index, and thumb to do most of your finger picking.